Jose Dura Avellino, August 5, 1890 to July 21, 1986, was the first president of the Senate of the Third Republic of the Philippines and the second president of the Liberal Party. He was Senate President pro tempore to President Manuel Quezon prior to the establishment of the Commonwealth. Early life and career Avellino was born in a town called Calbayog in Samar to Ildefonso Dura and Baltazar Avellino. Avellino was educated at the Ateneo de Manila where he received his Bachelor of Arts degree and the University of Santo Tomas where he graduated with his Bachelor of Laws. Calbayog became a city in 1948 at Avellino's instance, when as President of the Senate he pulled together three contiguous municipalities, Oquendo, Calbayog and Tinumbacan, and made it into the 19th city of the Philippines, July 15, 1948, the date President Elpidio Quirino signed Republic Act 328. Personal life Avellino was married to Enriqueta Casal and had four sons, Jose Jr., Enrique, Antonio, Baltazar II, and has one daughter named Pilar. National politics He served concurrently as Secretary of Labor and Secretary of Public Works and Transportation under President Manuel L. Quezon. As Secretary of Labor, Avellino accomplished something unprecedented in the Philippines and perhaps the world, he unified the labor unions by organizing them into two commissions, the National Commission of Labor NCL, and the National Commission of Peasants NCP, and he was designated chairman over these two commissions. To quote from the Manila Bulletin, the new Secretary of Labor Jose Avellino became not merely the head of the Department of Labor in the government but the head of labor organization, the head of labor in fact. Avellino is known as the father of the Philippine Workmen's Compensation Law, one of the most famous bills which he passed during his term in Senate which focused on creating a contingency insurance fund for workers as a way to protect the workers from the various economic problems that plagued the post-war economy. Avellino also founded the first labor union in eastern Visayas, Gremio Obrero de Stevedores and considered to be a founding member of the Liberal Party. He was instrumental in the passage of the social security system and pushed for the establishment of public high schools in every province in the Philippines. The final office held by Avellino before retiring was serving as ambassador plenipotentiary under President Elpidio Quirino. An LP stalwart, Avellino was infamously quoted as saying, What are we in power for? Which came during a party caucus in Malacanang. The whole statement being, Why did you have to order an investigation honorable Mr. President? If you cannot permit abuses, you must at least tolerate them. What are we in power for? We are not hypocrites. Why should we pretend to be saints when in reality we are not? We are not angels. When we die we will all go to hell. It is better to be in hell because in that place there are no investigations, no Secretary of Justice, no Secretary of the Interior to go after us. The above account is disputed by historian Quintin Doriquez. Doriquez claims that Avellino was willfully misquoted as corrupt by Celso Cabrera, a news reporter who did not speak Spanish. Doriquez claims that Congressman Faustino Tobia of Ilocos Norte confessed to the Avellino family later that the entire quote was fabricated and that the original context of Avellino's comment at the said party caucus on January 15, 1949 was the failure of the Quirino administration to deal with the problems of the country. According to Doriquez, Congressman Tobia offered the following paraphrase as closer to what Avellino actually said in Spanish at the meeting. Señor Presidente, no es la verdad que sin hacerlos vigorosamente es traicionar y negar esencialmente nuestros deberes como servientes públicos? ¿Para que está el nuestro mandato del pueblo? Doriquez provided a translation of Congressman Tobias' paraphrase. 
Mr. President, is it not the truth that not addressing vigorously these problems i.e., of losing the Liberal Party's insight into the post-war reconstruction, the country's peasant plight that is fueling the Hux insurgency, and the moral discipline of those who use their position or influence in government to advance their selfish ends, like appointing less qualified men from the opposition party, is to betray and negate fundamentally our duties as public servants? What fur is our mandate from the people? In any case, the quote, What are we in power for? was the quote attributed to Avellino and reported in the Manila Chronicle which was owned by the Lopez family, the family of then-Senator Fernando Lopez who later would be chosen as Quirino's running mate and be elected as his vice president. Avellino ran for being president of the Philippines during the 1949 elections, where he became the third-party candidate in a race between incumbent President Elpidio Quirino and former President José P. Laurel. Avellino tried to divide the liberal votes for Quirino by declaring his faction as the other wing of the Liberal Party but the latter still won with 50.93% of the votes. Avellino garnered a mere 11.85%. His vice presidential mate, Vicente Francisco, garnered a far lower percentage, 1.73%. Later life Avellino retired from public life and devoted himself to the practice of law. Avellino died at the age of 95 on July 21, 1986. References External links Biography of José Avellino, Senate of the Philippines Calbayog Co. page about José Avellino Quintin Lambino Doriquez's biographical article about José Avellino